Hey Calvary family, it's hard to believe, but it's been six months since we laid out our next initiative vision at Calvary, made our financial pledge pledges and, and at, at the heart of all of this is our desire to be part of a move of God that sees the number of Jesus apprentices in Central PA double by 2030. Amazing vision. Remember to that end we set three next initiatives. Number one, we're going to prioritize the next generation. We will passionately pursue the good of the next generation, helping them love Jesus and lead the church into all that God has for us in the decades to come. Number two, we will bless every neighbor in our communities. We'll, we'll pray like crazy and grow in generosity. We'll step out in faith and live in God's overflow. Share Jesus with our hashtag, love our neighbors. That was priority number two. And number three, we want to prepare in faith for the fulfillment of the 2030 vision. If there's gonna be this huge move of God, what is it that we need to do to get ready? We'll begin to pay off debt, design structures, gather resources, and start gatherings that will prepare us for revival, for a move of God, for a doubling of Jesus' apprentices in Central PA. Uh, this last week on one of those kinda rainy days, I went for a walk with my grandson Theo, 16 month old, I think I might be getting that right. Um, he loves being outdoors and I have to admit, he was barefooted because I didn't want to get his cool shoes dirty. We, we walked down our driveway until we came to a puddle and he was fascinated by that puddle, right? He, he st stopped and bent down and he picked up a rock and, and gave it to me. Just a random rock in the water, put his hand in, pulled out a rock, left the puddle, Walked a few steps away, stopped, looked back at the puddle, came back like he was drawn to it by a cord, picked up another rock and gave it to me, just a, another random walk, rock. Walked away from the puddle again, stopped at about four steps, looked back, came back. This time he went right into the middle of the puddle, feet submerged, kind of bent down, didn't sit in it, fished out a couple more rocks, gave them to me, and then we walked away. I don't know why those six or seven rocks were chosen. There were many more, but those were the ones he wanted me to have. So here are those rocks, and, and here are a few somewhat random facts about how we're doing with our next initiative. There's so much more that I can say, just like there were so many rocks there, but, but here are a few of them. Number one, giving is going great. Man, thank you. At the six month mark, you've given about $500,000 above and beyond what we need for our general fund. Add that to the million that was given in advance, it's one and a half million. Um, we're, we're, we're a tiny bit behind schedule, but I know some of you are year end givers, so I'm, I'm very encouraged by our giving towards the 3.1 plus million that you pledged above and beyond the general fund giving to, to go to our next initiative. Way to go. Number two, there, there are over 300 people at Calvary who are praying regularly for their hashtag, our front yard mission. We, we wanna see that number grow in the months to come, but that means that easily 15 to 20,000 neighbors are being prayed for by Calvary. And so much more is happening with Front Yard Mission. You're inviting people into your homes, doing donuts in the driveway, all of that happening. Even this last week with the food pack, I, I met so many of your neighbors that you invited to the food pack. Thank you, thank you for being a part of that. And, and then third rock, next gen, next generation. Man, I, I see it at Harvest Fields as our Penn State University student numbers kind of are exploding, but at each of our gatherings. The next generation from 2 to 22 is being prayed for and served. And, and Calvary Lewistown is in the midst of hiring a next generation director. You can be in prayer for that. Our residency program, that's part of what we call Leadership Next, is moving forward. There's such, such good stuff happening in that priority area. And then number four, in, in terms of preparing in faith, for the 2030 vision. Plans are underway to start a new gathering in Belfont. Pastor Scott Letty is, is leading the charge on that. The youth edition is, is underway at Harvest Fields. Prayers and discussions are being had about buying our building in Tyrone and, and partnerships in Penns Valley to reach the next generation are, are under discussion. There's so much more that I could share, but I have to save those rocks for the, the next update. Thank you for being a part of what God is doing in Central PA. And, and if you aren't yet a part, man, I'd, I'd love to chat. I, I don't know, I just gotta tell you, I have a sense in my heart that there are a few of you out there who are just waiting to give of your time, your, your money, your skills, your abilities, your energy, your prayer. There's so much to do, and I don't want any of you, I don't want any of us to miss it. 
Thanks for all you're doing.